Hey, welcome back everyone. If you remember a few months ago, we did a video where we installed a backup camera system on our full-size travel trailer made by the Halo View Company. Um, it's been a good system. It works well. I really like it. I like it so much that I actually reached out to Halo View a few weeks ago and I said, hey, do you make a camera system that will go on the back of my truck so that it will be easier for me to hitch up to my camper when I'm going to go somewhere? And they said, yeah, we make one that goes on your license plate frame. Um, so they were kind enough to send me this um, license plate camera that we'll be mounting today. And they also sent me this external antenna, which is uh, supposed to help reception be even better on your uh, monitor in the truck. Which I've really not had any issues with anyway, but we may as well go ahead and install it. But while I was talking to Halo View, they said, hey, we've got this new product that we've, we've just launched and we'd like for you to do a review on it and see what you think. And this is super cool. I didn't even know this thing existed. Um, this is a replacement marker light, side marker light for my full-size travel trailer. Um, if you look at my camper on the side, you'll see a, an amber side marker light towards the front and you'll see a red one towards the back. Well, this replaces the amber marker light towards the front, and it also has a built-in camera, which is supposed to work with my existing uh, monitor from Halo View that I already have on the dash of the truck. Now, this system came with two cameras, one for the left and one for the right. I think I can get a split-screen view on that. We'll find out when we install it. But this just seems like a super cool product. Um, it would sure eliminate blind spots going down the interstate when I'm trying to change lanes. So I was excited to say, yeah, I'd love to try this product. So they were kind enough to send this over as well. So, hey, let's get, to, let's get to installing this thing and see how it works. So we're out here at the camper, and I want to show you the location of these um, marker light cameras. This is the left side or the driver's side towards the front. And again, that's just an amber marker light. And then there'll be one on the other side. Um, it's real easy. You first just start, on this camper anyway, you start by just taking a flathead screwdriver, popping it in there, and the lens of this amber marker light comes off. And if you look, you'll see two Phillips head screws, one right here and one right here, and those just come out with a screwdriver, and then you just pop this fella off. Now this one happens to be um, sealed with some sealant, so you have to give it a good little tug, but it will come out. Going to remove two Phillips head screws. There we go. So we're over here on the passenger side of the camper now, and I've kind of skipped ahead a little bit. Um, I did exactly what I just mentioned. I just took two screws out of this with a screwdriver, grabbed a hold of it, and just popped it off by hand. Not much to see there. But what I want to show you is that on this particular camper, this marker light had two black wires coming out of it. Each one had a wire nut on the end that connected to two white wires. Now, the white wire that's just solid white with some, some letters and numbers on it is the ground wire on this camper. And this white wire with a green stripe happened to be the hot wire on this camper. Now, from the manufacturer, the only problem I ran into is that the old assembly had some, some uh, silicone around it. And I'm going to have to remove that before I can put the, the new assembly on there. And I've just got this plastic scraping tool I picked up somewhere. Let's give this a try. So yeah, that's going to work. Just going to take a little elbow grease, but yeah, it is coming off. You can see it. You can see the old plastic or silicone scraping off there. Now for the installation of the camera. Um, on this one, there's a little slot down here at the end of this marker light. You pry with a flathead screwdriver, and then it's exposed and ready for installation. So to install this, we basically just need to hook up a few wires and put in four screws. Now, the camera itself has a positive and a negative wire, and the LED light has a positive and negative wire. So what we'll do is we'll put the two positives with the positive on um, the trailer, 
and the two grounds with the ground on the trailer. So I'm going to take the ground wire and match it up with the ground wire on the camper and give it just a little bit of a twist and then I'm going to stick both of them down in this sleeve that was supplied with the camera system and I'm going to crimp those. So now we'll crimp the positive wire of the marker assembly with the positive wire coming out of the camper. And again, we'll give it just a little bit of a twist. This really ain't going to do too much, just make it easier to go into the connectors about it. And then we'll stick it in the connector, make sure it's slid all the way in good, and give it a crimp. So kind of skipping ahead again, I just put some electrical tape around that connection, not for the reason you would think. Um, I basically did that so that when I stick all those wires back inside, if one of them ever were to come loose, I can still pull it back out with the whole assembly. Because um, if ever one of those wires ever came loose and got way down inside here, I might not be able to fish it back out. So now it's time to actually mount it. So all the wires are stuffed in nicely. And I'm looking at it, making sure it's level. And I'm going to use these self-tapping screws. Which seem to work pretty well. I will probably go back and put some sealant around this one just like the original one from the factory. But it looks to be really nice and secure. and. It's got a nice rubber seal around the back of it, so it should be watertight. And in case you're wondering, yes, I can still open the cargo door. It goes uh, this far before it hits the camera, which is plenty far enough to still get everything out that I need. There we go. So again, I may come back with some sealant and go around there like they did from the factory, but that is an installed camera. I'm going to adjust the angle here right fast. Okay, so now we've got the cameras mounted to the side of the camper and we have power run to them. Um, now remember, we also have a third uh, camera on the very back of the camper that we put on in a previous episode. All three of these will work in unison. Um, the next step is to pair the cameras to the monitor and there's basically just a button on the back of the camera and you push that and select pair on the monitor and it happens i'm not even going to show you that it's so easy um, but how you activate the whole thing when you want to pull the camper down the road is to first turn the monitor on and then turn on the cameras now you turn on the cameras by basically just turning on your lights in your truck because the lights um, on the camper are activated when you turn the lights on in your truck and that's also what activates the cameras 